Hi, y'all. Good morning. I'm back. How are y'all? Okay, so I did a wig review. I'm not sure if it's uploaded yet, but uh, I'll just do a little quick mini wig review. All the information for this wig below uh, in the description box this is a short, sh uh, straight, short bob wig, Brazilian hair, 100%. Um, this is from ywigs.com. Use my discount code, which is listed below. Uh, scroll past the makeup information, and then um, you'll see where it says ywigs. You'll see my discount code, and the first link um, is going to be for this wig. Other links are below for my other wigs. So y'all go check them out. Uh, I kind of ran the flat iron through it and plucked a little bit. I hadn't cut any baby hairs. I have not glued it. The lace it's pretty decent, but I wanted it to look very natural, so I didn't do much to it. I will go back and pluck a little bit more later when I find my tweezers, because I just used a little razor thing. But hi, so today we're gonna be featuring the CoverGirl uh, Exhibitionist Collection, which is just um, these palettes and some lip glosses. Um, if you watched my haul yesterday, you saw these. So we have CoverGirl um, palettes, and these were from Walmart, actually. I got these at Walmart. These are highly pigmented uh, professional palettes by CoverGirl. So the first one is Overthrown, and these are highly pigmented. Comes with a mirror and everything. Um, I did a few swatches on my haul video. Y'all could check that out from last night. Um, this is rain, like rain, and then um, we have revolution, and I love the names of these colors. They're very pigmented, so they're going to work on everyone's skin tone, and then at least, I mean last but not least, we have the Ascension palette. This is more matte nudes and light shimmers. So um, you can also use that as a highlighter palette too because they're very, very nice as highlighters as well. These are only $14 no, $14 and some change. So it's a I bought a few of them because I wanted to review the collection and their collectors and their limited edition. So I also got some lip glosses. Um, the one that I'm probably gonna be using today is gonna be called Ascension and it's this really pretty pink one. Um, this one is, um, I think, Overthrown. I'm not sure. Um, could be. I don't remember. But um, because the names aren't, are the names on here? They're on the package. But it's just really, this is a really pretty uh, nude. It's a, hot, um, a light pink and then a really pretty pink. Um, they remind me of NYX Butter Glosses. Same smell, same feel less thick. Okay, so let's get started. I've already done my brows and my foundation and my powder. I used the Fenty Beauty um, Hydrating Longwear and Pro Filter number 370. And then I just used my Too Faced powder to set it and translucent. Okay, so now I'm going to, um, I guess I should do my contour, I guess do my contour before I start my eyes. Let me just go ahead and get that out of the way. Get my contour going. They are they should be available online. It's by CoverGirl. So I'm I'm pretty sure Target has it. Any any store that co carries CoverGirl should have it. But it is a limited edition so I'm not sure how long it's going to be around or how long you have to purchase it. I'm just going in and contouring a little bit just to give my face some depth and whatnot. Um, my forehead is bigger than this. Just this wig is taking up some of it. Oh. <laughs> I miss my forehead. Shoot, put that back. I miss my forehead. Like when I wear wigs, I don't see all of my forehead and it's like I'm a, a whole new look, a whole new person. On my forehead. So I'm just going to. Y'all hear my seat squeaking? <laughs> I be getting excited blending up stuff. So I'm just blending back 
um, that that uh, contour palette is by Ulta, just the Ulta brand. Okay, this is by Elf. This brush, I know a lot of y'all always ask, what brush is that? Elf. All right. So now that I blended that in, um, I, I guess I'll go in and do my nose just a little bit. I don't really contour it a lot on my nose, so um, I just use one of these little slanted brushes, and I just go down right here. And that's about it, really. Like just, just to have it show up on camera. Like if you take a lot of pictures, contouring your nose will help it show up on camera because the light, when it hits your nose, it just makes everything look flat and like undimensional, like non-dimensional. So you want to kind of shape it up so that when the light hits it, you can see the bridge and stuff. Okay. So you know, if you don't, if you don't take pictures, don't even worry about it. All right, now we got that out of the way. Uh, I guess I can add some blush, but I, I'll do that after the eyeshadow. So since I'm wearing nude colors today, and I really like color, I'm gonna be using the Ascension palette and maybe the Rain palette because there's some coppers in there and some nice browns. And this palette is really good for the colors that I have on today. So I'm gonna go in, but I already put primer on my eyelids, as y'all can probably see. So I'm gonna go in and just add this color um, curtsy all over my lid so that it's easier to blend all the other colors out. It's just a, you know, a base color. Um, they have one next to it called Admiration that's a little bit darker if this is too light as a base color for you. See? Oh yeah, so it's really good for all skin tones. I love that they made it like that. Um, you just walked two miles, girl, watching my video. Hey, I was with you. Girl, would you? I like your friend walking next to you, huh? Thank you for watching my videos. This wig does look real. Y'all need to go get it. Okay, use my discount code. You use that discount code, you're gonna save some money. Um, it's The link is below under the makeup information. The first Weebly. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my transition color. I don't know what I wanna use. Okay, so since I'm wearing, I'll get another one. Another one. So I gotta have extra. I gotta drop something. So I think I'm gonna go in with truffles. Can I go in with truffles? or committed. Maybe I should do both. Are y'all still here? Y'all need to put some emojis so I know I ain't talking to myself. Thank y'all. So I'm going in as my transition color and thank you, natural advice, I appreciate that. So I'm just going in with um, truffles as my transition, baby. Sasha made, look, we're gonna talk too, so Sasha, she made me get her a DNA test for Ancestry.com because she was just so interested in her background. I know people always say it's a scam, da, 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 but I, she wanted it. So I had to do what Sasha wanted it. Um, so Sasha's came back. And you know how everyone always asks, is James African? Is James African? He had, well... They get his, his DNA passed down to her. She has a lot of Nigerian in her. She has a lot of Cameroon and Nigerian and Congo in her. <laughs> and you know how it shows like where your ancestry or DNA has, you know, traveled or migrated. Uh, they show like where her father was born and, you know, he's not even in that system. So, um, that DNA. So he's he's has a lot of Nigeria and Congo in his DNA. Um, she has more of his DNA than my DNA, and um, it's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, and I looked at mine compared to hers, and it's she has a lot of my DNA as well. But she has more of James's DNA. And James has um, 
Cameroon, Congo. Uh, well, this is Sasha. She has a lot of. She has 22% Cameroon, Congo, Southern Bantu. She has 17% Nigerian, 9% Benin and Togo, uh, 8% Mali, 3% Ghana, 3% Sen Senegal. I hope I said that right. Yeah. And then the rest is my DNA uh, from Portugal, uh, Puerto Rico, um, Spain, and Basque. She also has indigenous Eastern South American, indigenous America, you can tap Peninsula. And she also has um, Ireland and Scotland, 5%. That's not me. Maybe a little bit, but I don't know. Uh, could be a little bit, but. So she has a lot of um, James's DNA. And I'm pretty sure Layla uh, does too. She, Layla didn't get hers, but I'll probably get her one. If she'll want it, but I'll probably just get it to just to show her. It'll be interesting to have. Um, I did use primer girl I, before the video even started. I had on primer. Y'all know I'm prepared. I had on primer, foundation, eyebrows. Here y'all think. Y'all think I ain't gonna put no primer on this eyeshadow? That would be a waste of eyeshadow. <laughs> All right, so now that I have that as my um, my transition color, let me go over it with another coat, but of uh, Committed, which is right next to it, this little cute mauve color, just to give it some pink. Okay. I don't know what that's going to do, but it, it just give it a little color. Okay. Um, then I'm going with my pencil brush, and not in this one, but I'm going into rain. No, I don't want. I don't know if I want to go into rain. Let me see. let me see about revolution. Let me see about a revolution. Ooh, revolution's looking cute today. Okay, this is revolution. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm so tempted to get in that showdown, but I don't want a lot of color. I gotta stay calm. I gotta stay calm. I think I'm gonna go in for dare because it's more of a brown. But it also has a little bit of something in it, you know, a little, little something. So I'm just gonna go in that crease with, with Dare from the Revolution, the CoverGirl Revolution palette. Yeah, that's see, that's that's nice. It's not too much, not too bright. Because y'all know, I, I, when I see them reds, I get excited. I'm like, ooh, red, thanks. So that I'm trying to go for a classy look today, so I don't look like. You know, I've been playing in a color box. Um, thank you. Can you talk on your spiritual channel about the beasts of the field and the <laughs> girl? The beasts of the field is cold. What is a field? Mm -hmm. Electromagnetic field. I'll talk about it. I got some stuff that I need to break down on that channel anyway. Okay. You're welcome, girl. You're welcome. Girl. I got you. I got you mind, body, and soul. And bag. <laughs> and bag. <laughs> okay, so I'm just blending this in a little bit. Did I get my lips done again? I showed it. You have to upkeep, you got to do some upkeep, you know. Um, I had a different method done this time. It was like so much better, no bruising, no, zero bruise. Oh, I'm never going back to my old lady again. I'm going to this lady. My cousin recommended her, and it was cheaper. Oh, I was getting ripped off and tortured before. The first time I did it, I was ripped off and tortured. I rebuked that. Okay, so the first time they did Restylane and they poked my lips about 20 times and left bruises everywhere. And they weren't the results weren't even this good. 
Um, thank you, We Care a Lot, Shira. I know this is your beauty channel, but I want to say I really appreciate that spiritual knowledge you drop. I have so many books to catch up on. Thanks to you. Oh, thank you, We Care a Lot. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I appreciate that. Yes, you know I got you, girl. I got you. So um, with the first method, they used a syringe, and they poked me 20 times and bruised, and it was uneven. I had to go back. Okay, so the second time, she used this, I forgot she called it a cannula or something, where she inserted it through my cheek and then went into my lips, and it was like a rounded um, tip to where it would move around, navigate around the, the vessels so it wouldn't burst any vessels to cause bruising. And then she would just feel as she left. So it's like, what? And it was cheaper. And no bruise. And she did a better job. That's why she owned her own place. And the other lady just visited a dermatology office. Office. So um, thanks, cuz. I don't know if she, I don't think she watched this channel, but thank you, girl. <laughs> Um, so this is very natural. I'm loving this naturalness today. Uh, but y'all know I need a little shine. I'm gonna shine, shine. I'm gonna go into the rain palette and I'm gonna hit good for you. Right here, see it's good for you. It's good for you. It's like a peachy sheen color. I'm just gonna hit that lid. You're going to like these palettes. Get the Ascension palette. Well, they all have natural colors in them, but the Ascension palette has the most natural colors. The uh, uh, Exhibition is CoverGirl Collection. So y'all can uh, love that palette, the Ascension palette. This one has lots of color in it. I will never use that blue. I, for some reason, I just don't like those blues. Mm -hmm. Right? Maybe if I, for Halloween or something, but not mm -hmm. I, I'll try to work it in one day just to experiment, but I don't, I can't do blues. It just makes me look old. It's kind of dating. I tried a couple of looks with blue, but it just makes me look old. Oh. <laughs> um, thank you. Avoid bright blues and greens. Do I know that now. Shoot. One time I was trying to do a look. It looked cute when you first do the look, and then after about an hour, it starts looking like old lady-ish, like starts seeping into the skin. It starts looking old. I think a pastel blue would probably be better, but not that dark blue. <laughs> All right. Yay. All right, so now that I have that blended, I'm trying to look neutral stylish. Okay. I got to go under my, under here. I'm going to go in with that dare again, because that's the color I have in my crease. And just go a little around like that. Under. That looks nice. I'm not going to do too much. You know, I got to calm down sometimes. So I'm going to go back in that Ascension palette and get a highlighter color for the, for the lid up on the top. Let me see which one I want. Okay, I'm gonna go in Queen to be Y'all my queen. You know, y'all remember uh, coming to America? The name of this color is Queen to be. And it's just a very natural like glow. <laughs> queen to be. Yes, that's me. I'm already shooting. I'm past that. They behind, they late. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to go in and do a little tear duct work. If you can pull off green and blue eyeshadow, by all means, go ahead. But I don't think I am able to do that. So I'm going to go in with this loyalty color. It's called loyalty. And I'm going to hit that, hit this like tear duct. It's not light enough. So I gotta rework my okay. I'm gonna go into let's see. Hmm. Let's go into Twirl. It's a golden color. Let's see if this works. I think it's okay. You don't want it to be too much. Um, 
Let me go back into Queen to be. Let me see if this works better. It's not giving me a lot of lighting. Well, I guess that's okay. Let me, let me come in closer. Maybe it's just my lighting. It's not giving me too much. Let me see another palette. Let me see this rain palette. Okay, let me, let me go into this rain palette and hit crown. Okay, this crown is better. Shows up a little bit more. And then there's prerogative. It's my prerogative. I'm going to lavish too. Let me see what that looks like. So, I mean, you can just play around and see which one works best for you. I don't know. I'm just going to blend that in a little bit. Thank you. It didn't really do nothing. I have to use something else. I have to use probably that silver. I was trying to avoid it. Let me go ahead and see what the silver can do for me. Um, so glass slipper. It's like a silver. Uh, nope. That ain't gonna work either. It's too pale. Uh -huh. That's just not gonna help me. I have a let me look at this overthrown one. Ooh, they have another color called Legacy. I don't know if that's the same Legacy, but let's, let's see. Oh, yeah, this is it. This this is the one. Overthrown Legacy, baby. I have to go through all those palettes to find the one that's going to work. <laughs> okay. So this one works for the job. Yeah, it's only $14, $14 and they're collectible. Also, I like the spiritual names on them. Which is the main reason that I bought it. So that's good. That's all right. This is going to work. Okay. Um, I don't know if I want to do like a bunch of liner because this is so chic. I don't want to do a bunch of liner and mess it up. So I'm just going to do some mascara and lashes to um keep it more natural. Where's my mascara? I'm gonna use my Kat Von D. Uh, you like it? It's classy. Well, thank you. I'm trying to look classy today. For once, I'm, no, I'm trying to keep it classy and neutral. This ain't working. This is out. Where is my? Let me get my new. I have some little comb that I got. I'm gonna use. So what are y'all doing? Y'all at work? Y'all at home? Y'all doing y'all's makeup too? What's up? What y'all doing? It, it took me so long to get online because I had a lot of stuff to do. I had a consultation. I had to do a lot of stuff. I had to get this wig together. I recorded another video. I don't know if it uploaded or not. Just got your Amazon. Oh, good for you. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for um, watching my videos too. Like I appreciate it. All right. So I'm trying to get these little little hairs right here in the corner because when you put on lashes, they, sometimes they don't reach all the way over, and you need to get them hairs. <laughs> okay, like I have two faced better than sex, but it's in that package way over there, and I don't want to be like rattling around to try to get it out. But uh, I'm just gonna use what I have right now this Lancome definition, or whatever, y'all. I'm shopping. Ooh, girl, I'm. I'm telling you, it is the season to be jolly, to be shopping. It's like right after Halloween, they put out that Christmas tree in the mall. The music make you want to shop even more. It's crazy. <laughs> you order some lashes, you can't wait, girl. I can't wait for you either, girl. Y'all mean you're going to be cute. Okay, so I'm going to be going for some classy lashes. Oh, shoot. My drawer almost broke. What are my lashes? 
Oh my gosh. I misplaced my natural looking lashes. Do they fall? I don't know where they went. This is messed up. Like it's, it's sad because I wanted to wear them. Oh well. It's gotta go my level up lashes. <laughs> They're a little fancy. Where are my lashes? Sasha be playing with my stuff, I promise you she put it in there messing with it. <laughs> but I, that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna go from my little dramatic class. Sasha stole my lashes, child. So I guess I'll just use these. These look. Um, let me see. I'm sure they're. Let me let me look like. Let me bend down. Some back. Might fall. Lashes, where are you? Nope, they were taken. Oh, I found them. I'm sorry, Sasha. My drawer is left. Oh, yeah. I have so much makeup in the drawer. The drawer needs to be re redone. Makeup is wearing it down. I gotta, I gotta take some out. Okay, so I have these lashes. Sorry, y'all, that was loud. And I got these by, they're up Pro Beauty. And I got these at TJ Maxx. And it's just a bunch of natural looking lashes. So I'm gonna put this pair on and make it do what it do. I'm gonna be using my level up cosmetic lashes. I can't, I don't have the patience for no individual lashes. I'm like, makeup already takes me long enough. I, I can't sit there. I mean, kudos for those of you who can. I commend you. You have true dedication. But look, I just need to paint on and, and stick on. I'm not a, I'm sure it'd look better, but hey, maybe one day. Not today. <laughs> so, let me hold this down so it can stick. This little cute mirror, isn't it cute? I think we got this at. Marshalls or TJ Maxx too. A Roth brand. Can't remember. I think it was Ross. Okay, so y'all see how natural that lash looks? I have to hold this down right here so it can stick. Hold it down for a second. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't do individuals either because I have to take them off. Girl, I'll forget to take one off and I have one stuck on. Look, my eye will look like a unicorn. One, two, right in the middle. Oh. Do you want, but I do want to learn more about lash extension. Yeah, I like just taking everything off when I go to sleep and putting it all back on in the morning. I don't want nothing stuck on me while I'm in a bed. I need to be renewed on a daily basis. Okay, um, so that's on. I like it because it's very natural. It doesn't look like a fake lash. I should have, hold on, I gotta like, it popped off, so I have to like hold it for a few more seconds so that that glue stick, glue stick. <laughs> All right, that's good enough. All right, next. Strip lashes. Always. For now, I'm going to get fancier later. <sighs> I tell you, life is crazy. Um, I'm going to be doing my other channel soon. As soon as I get all this makeup on. A lot of you guys send me stories and stuff about what's going on and you know other people's videos. Somebody sent me a story about the Popeye's chicken sandwich. 
I'm about to get stabbed. So we're going to talk about that on my spiritual channel today. If y'all are subscribed, y'all saw my post that I did at 3 o'clock this morning on the community section of my spiritual channel. Yes, it was at 3 something in the morning. I am, I do, I do be awake. That's when the spirit gets you. You gotta wake up. Uh -huh. So I'm just like working with this to make it stick. Okay, make sure this one's sticking. This one don't want to stick down. This one just being a uncooperative. Maybe if I got like a little, what you call this thing? Curler, eyelash curler, it'll cooperate. So curl it with my other one together. It helped. Do this one. I'll wait till this one dries a little bit more. Popeyes. That's a spirit. Popeyes. I broke it down already in the in the community section. I already broke that down. It was too easy. Next challenge. I'm gonna start doing this more often. This worked. I had this for years and never, never really used it until I see that it really works. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara, sorry y'all, on the lashes so they can look like they're the same lash. Make sure it's sticking down. Stay I'm gonna start with this one. Just on the tips. I'm gonna do just a little bit. Okay. That'll work. I'm gonna get the okay. Make sure everything is blended. It looks okay. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of liner underneath, just a little bit, just a little. This is just Nick K Beauty Supply Store black brand black liner. Just gonna go under the this ain't very soft. I'm gonna heat it up with my light bulb. Oh wow. This is not this ain't good on It might it might be waterproof though, maybe that's why it's so hard. Hold on. Just gotta work with it, heat it up. Only, I'm gonna do, just only do the outer edges, not the whole little eye, just to make it look you know, just defined. Okay, that's good. Y'all need no good. All right, blush, blush. Um, my nurse, my narcissist palette. I want it to Narcissist by NARS. I'm going to go in with this pale pink. Just a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to put some highlighter. Up the mascara and put some highlighter. Um, oh, I want to use this LA Color Skin Eliminator Drops and Sun Goddess, the color Sun Goddess. Where exactly do blush go? Well, it depends on how you want to look. Because if you have fat cheeks like me, they should go like right on the apples to make them look plumper. Um, makes you look younger if you put them right here. If you don't want to accentuate your fat cheeks, put it on the side. But I'm trying to look young. Okay, people, people out here paying for fat cheeks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
the flaunt. Okay, so um, I'm just rubbing it right there on my cheekbone. And I love this girl. This is a, a good find for cheap. It's by LA Colors. And it's Illuminating Skin Enhancer. That's what it's called. Look at that. Look at that glow. Look at the glow. I'm just going to put a little bit on my nose. A little bit out. I have on no makeup. What are you talking about? This is my skin. That's how I just have on no mascara. <laughs> Y'all guys. All right, so I'm just gonna do that because it looks like my skin. I might, I might have to invest in some of this for my line and get something similar, a similar product. Okay. Wrap that off. Now that I'm glowing, so I'm flawless. Um, be, thanks, thanks to makeup. Lips. All right. So that is where I have the most time trying to figure out what color to put on. So, what color, ladies? Should I go dark, bold, pink, nude, red? No, I can't do red. Pink, blue, red. No, pink, blue, red. Oh, that's right. I was going to do my Ascension, but I need a base color because this is not super, super, you know, super pigmented. So I'm going to do like a nude base color. I'm going to be using L'Oreal All Out Pout in 7, no, 978. This is just a nude lip. Uh, you could use uh, foundation or I need any new lip color as your base to any pinks or I like to mix nudes and pinks because it gives it just a, a better color uh, payoff. So I'm going to be using Ascension and it's almost the same color as my nails. And it's like that butter gloss from NYX. If you have butter gloss and I forgot the color. But this color, just use that, it's the same. This one is less thick though, it's less thick than that. And it smells the same too, that vanilla. Okay. Do I look proper? Do I look like a proper lady? I'm gonna come in closer so you guys can see the actual color. Mm -mm. There we go. Oh, I brought like the little thing to get hairs off. But I can't, I haven't put the battery in it because I don't have any batteries at the store. So I'm going to use this to get my little extra, you know. There's nothing on there, but just in case. A little extra. I like to do that just in case it starts growing. You know what, ladies? I have that little hair there. Okay. And I'm going to finish it off with just whatever is left on this brush from my translucent powder from earlier. And then I'm going to spray. I have this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I got this from Ulta. I'm gonna spray it. it. Smells like Lysol, but it worked though. You do smell like Lysol. The same. I feel like I'm disinfecting my face. Um, let me comb this wig. Sasha and Layla use my brush, so there's three people's hair in there. <laughs> All right, y'all. What do y'all think? Cute. Thumbs up. 
do a beauty mold. I should do it right here on this pimp on this pimple that's going down. I actually have a um, brown liquid lip. I mean, liquid liner that I could use. So, let's see. It's a Hello Kitty. This is Korean. This is Japanese. There we go. I need to put some powder on top of it after it dry. So it won't look so obvious. Outfit of the day. Dang, y'all want everything, huh? Mm -hmm. Let's see if I look good enough to show you my outfit of the day. I wouldn't prepare it, but okay. Y'all catching me off guard this morning. This afternoon. All right, let's see what I got on. I'm trying to wipe off my hands so I don't mess up my clothes. Um, sure this wig is all right. Y'all remember, discount code to this wig is below. Links to this wig is below. My makeup collection is below, as well as the name of this one. All right, y'all. So, y'all, I wasn't prepared, but let's have on some cute jeans. Um, these are wax jeans, and I wasn't, I wasn't tucked in all the way, but I'm trying to tuck it in. Hold on. Uh, and I have this little lion belt and there's some folds in my jeans and then I have on I'll just take the shoe off oh. I have on this shoe that y'all have seen me haul a couple times Ugh. with the ball and then um this hair. This look. This shirt, I like it, but it's kind of like I should I think it would look better with slacks or a skirt. These jeans are a little tight. And um so I bought them in the junior section. Whew. Because you know, like at Ross, when you go to the uh jean section, it's all juniors. You gotta Figure out what size you are in juniors. <laughs> okay. All right. Ooh, child. So, thank y'all for watching. Um, you love this shirt? I, it's on my haul from yesterday. I think I got this from a store called Super Joy. Joy with the E at the end. Super Joy. They have lots of shirts like that even more fancy. Okay, thank y'all for tuning in. I'm going to go on my other channel now. A size 6 shoe. I know you. I'd be falling over if I were in a size 6 shoe. <laughs> they just look small, but they not. Alright, I'm going to see y'all later. Bye.